What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Back again. You guys already know what's going on. Playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Hopping onto that casual ladder with another Regulation D team, but this time showcasing Zapdos. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. We already showcased Articuno on the channel, but Zapdos is arguably going to be one of the best legendary birds in Regulation D. Very, very good Pokemon. Plus it pairs up perfectly with rain teams and rain teams are going to be dominant within Regulation D so Zapdos is that guy he's definitely that guy Basquiat is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview cannot really have a regulation D rain team without Basquiat Legion it's got Swift Swim with the choice ban as item Rock and Wave Crash Last Respect Aqua Jet and Psychic Fangs for its moveset Second Pokemon is going to be Urshfu, another Pokemon that just sweeps teams in the rain. It's got Unseen Fist, the Mystic Water, Surgeon Strikes, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Detect. Reggie Draco is going to be our third Pokemon, and Reggie Draco pairs up perfectly, just like the other Pokemon, with Tornadus. Give it speed control, and this thing can hit hard and do some crazy damage. He's got Dragon Small, alongside with the Dragon Fang, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Energy, Protect, and Earth Power. Tornadus is going to be the center of this team. Basically, everybody thrives off this Pokemon. Again, like always, it is the best support Pokemon in the game, so it's going to be a top-tier support Pokemon for Regulation D. It has Prankster, the Mental Herb, Tailwind, Bleak Windstorm, Taunt, and Rain Dance. One thing I would change about it is give it to Cobra Cloak. You just don't want it to be able to be faked out, so Cobra Cloak is definitely the better item for Tornadus, but Mental Herb is still very, very good. Hisumi and Gudra is going to be in our fifth slot. And Hisumi and Gudra, I already showcased this Pokemon, is an absolute bulk. It can legit outbulk pretty much any Pokemon and always get off a shot. It's got Shell Armor, so it can't be critted. It's got Assault Vest and then Muddy Water, Thunder, Draco Meteor, and Flash Cannon for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Zapdos. Again, top tier within the rain because it has stab moves like Hurricane and Thunder, which hit 100% of the time in the rain. Its other two moves consist of Tailwind and Roost, and then it has Leftovers and Static as its item and ability. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Zapdos Regulation D team. We're loading into our first match, and I'm super excited to be using this team. Zapdos, gonna be an absolute menace. It was an absolute menace in Sword and Shield. I see it being an absolute menace here in Scarlet and Violet. It's just such a good Pokemon. But we're going up against our first team, and we're versing Zapdos. And... Kyogre. I'm sick of Kyogre. And the reason I'm sick of Kyogre is, is if, if you guys watch my videos since Sword and Shield, the end of Sword and Shield was just all Kyogre for months and months and months. So Kyogre is that Pokemon. It is top tier. We could definitely win this match still. I really do like our team. I'm going to lead Zapdos. I think they might also lead Zapdos as well, but I really like having Zapdos out here on the field. So I'm going to go Zapdos. I am also going to go Tornadus because I really like Tornadus. I can definitely get some speed control from there. And then I'm going to go into my Surgeon Strikes Urshifu. And last but not least, Bashkew Legion. A lot of rain's going to be on the field, so I'm going to take advantage of it, right? The only Pokemon that can really soak up the rain shots are going to be Kyogre and Azumarill, but still, we can we can work around that, right? We could definitely work around that. We could choice ban to last respects. We could uh, use Hurricane on Zapdos. Really, really good. So we have a lot of different options, but like I said, a lot of rain's going to be on the field, so I'm going to have to bring in my heavy rain squad. And the reason we're bringing Tornadus, because I think they're going to set the rain with Kyogre, is I just want some Tailwind Speed Control. Cannot have that Kyogre go first with full HP. Water Spout just does too much damage. It will sweep my team no problem. That Pokemon is just OP. Super, super broken. I hope it's not a lot of ranked battles. Maybe like the last month of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet before the next gen game comes out. But other than that, keep those like OP legendaries out of the game. They just take over the meta. Like if you're not, if you're not using them, if they're in the meta, you are losing to them. They're just that good. They're that good, but... We're going to beat it right here for you guys. I got you guys. So they're going to end up leading Kyogre and Amoongus. So Kyogre and Amoongus come out here. Little bit annoying. Because I'm going to get water spouted. And I'm probably going to die here. What's your typing? Yes, Steel. Eh. Steel is eh. I could try to go for Thunder, but you're definitely Rage Powder, man, right? Does Taunt come out before Rage Powder? I'm just going to hurricane you, and you know what, I'm going to, I guess I'll set up a tailwind for later purposes, but this is just a, this is just a tough ordeal, and please, actually, I don't even know who you're going to Thrasilize here, it's, it's bad either way, it's Kyogre in the straight water, he is going to shred me, this is a problem, this is a problem, we can get rid of the Moongus, which is great, but all my Pokemon on the field are dead right here, 
They're all dead. You're just gonna rage powder. Yeah, that's why I hurt him. Yeah, so I, I can potentially get rid of a Moongus here, but other than that, Zapdos and Tornados are dead. This is why Kyogre's that strong. Let's, let's, let's see real quick. But Hurricane's gonna fly here. It's not even gonna take out a Moongus, which is terrible. And Orange. Oh, wait. Is it missing somebody? Zapdos dodge that? Did Zapdos dodge that? That's a big time dodge if that's Zapdos. It was Zapdos. And I'm able to soak? Ooh. We take that all day. Who's faster? It should be Tornadus, which is beautiful now. We're actually sitting really well now. No, Tornadus is not faster? Come on, Tornadus. Come on, Tornadus. I didn't want that. I didn't want that at all. I'm still going to go for a Thunder into the slot. So we're going to go for Thunder. We're just going to Bleak Windstorm across the board. And, cool, he doesn't go for the Rage Powder. So Thunder's going to do some crazy big damage to Kai Ogre. And we get the Para. Zapdos, my dog. This is why we're showcasing you. Bleak Windstorm's going to come out here, finish off Amoongus, and deal some nice damage to Kai Ogre. So Kai Ogre's still being a bulky little guy. We got a Speed Drop as well. Please lose turn to Paralyze. That'd be big time. Lose turn to Paralyze. Don't and Orange Pulse flying Zapdos. Can you eat? I would like one more turn from you. You can. Wow. Okay, cool. Ooh, you were soaking. You were soaking. Luckily, this Pokemon did not have Water Spout on it. Or Water Spout definitely would have KO'd both of us. So I get to some leftovers HP. I could just Roost next turn and take out... And take out uh, Kyogre with last respects if I want to. Choice Band Stab plus the 50 damage boost considering one of our opponents or one of our ally Pokemon is dead. But Basky Legion's coming out here. So let's see who they throw out here. It's going to be Volcarona. Okay, so Volcarona comes out here. Um... Hmm. You're right, Tarasla. So the right play would just be a Thunder into the slot to finish you off. And just a Wave Crash. Yeah, we'll truly spam the Wave Crash. That's pretty much GG's. We're locking this match down. Kyogre, no match for us. Even though he's a scary little poke. But I, don't, I don't like versus Kyogre's that much. I do not. It's just terrifying. We, we got lucky there that this thing did not have a Water Spout. A Wave Crash, Choice Span, Stab, and the Rain, super effective. Get on out of here, Volcarona. There's no chance you're surviving that. It does have Flame Body, so it does get a little revenge on me, but this match just wraps. I still got Urshfu in the back end. In the rain, I got Zapdos finishing off this Kyogre. Plus, we'll still have, like, one more turn left in the Tailwind. Everything is looking lovely. Thunder does not miss in the rain. Like I said, Zapdos is top tier in the rain. So good in the rain. Love it. Plus, with Terra, I really like having Terrestrialization with this Pokemon. That's pretty much going to be the, the match. We got leftovers here. I could roost if I want to go up to pretty much full HP. We are thriving. El Torpedo. That's his Basque Legion's name. <laughs> love it. I love Basque Legion. Like, his design's so cool. Looks like a cloudfish, kind of, right? His tail looks very cloudish. But now comes the Zoom Rail. That's a problem. He can't terrestrialize it. Now I'm just going to hit hard with Wave Crash. Hit hard with Thunder. And our opponent stays in here. And Aqua Jet KOs me. How dare you? That ain't cool. That ain't right. Not at all. Not at all. Wave Crash, how much damage are you really doing? I know you're burning all that. Still not terrible. Still not terrible. So we still have Urshi Urshi in the back end. I can close. Oh, I could close combat, but. But it's going to be not very effective. But actually, yo, this match is coming down to it. Would I rather Surge and Strikes? I believe I would, right? I believe I would just because it's in the rain. Let's go for Surge Strikes, and of course, we're choosing the Wave Crash. Let's just keep sending them. The Wave Crash coming after him. There was a nice damage. Surge and Strikes be able to, should be able to finish this one up. Kind of getting scared that we might lose this one. But I think Surge Strikes should do it. Yeah, Surge Strikes got this. In the bag. Lovely. Shouldn't have been worried. Should not have been worried. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1 0 to get things started. Let's hop through a second. Go back to back. Got things start off hot here. Let's keep the ball rolling. We're going up against a tough one. Urshifu, Rillaboom, Mousehold. Okay, no Annihilate. I thought there was Annihilate because I saw Mousehold. So we'll take that. Arcanine, Fluttermane, and Grimmsnarl. So they can definitely set up screens. They can definitely get after me that way. I do really like this after this Tornadus. It's just such a solid lead. We just have to watch out for fake outs with the Rillaboom. So they could go screens right off the rip. Um, am I that worried? Kind of a little bit. I mean, crit Urshifu is going to be top tier. And that's exactly who I'm going to bring. So I'm going to bring him in the back end. And then last but not least, I kind of like the bulk with the Gudra. So I'm going to go in with the Gudra Assault Vest. He's going to be awesome here. Especially up against Pokemon like Fluttermane. We get off some big time damage with Flash Cannon. He has a bunch of different moves to get after it too. 
So, I really like Gudra. Very, very bulky. Very bulky boy. Great defensive stats on both sides of the field. But I wonder who they're going to lead. I feel like Mouse Hole could definitely be an option. Rillaboom could, again, be an option. That's another reason why I did not bring Basket Legion. I didn't want Urshifu and Basket Legion, and then they just bring Rillaboom kind of tear into me. It's not that good. It would not be good. But uh, Rillaboom would be so much better. It's still pretty good, but in Sword and Shield, it was top tier because it had access to the move Grassy God, which gave it first turn priority within the Grassy Terrain. So having that combo of the Grassy Terrain as its ability and the Grassy Glide, it was pretty OP. I wouldn't say it was OP, but it, it was super strong. Like, you could just hop in battle, Grassy Glide, boom. Just take control of the mass like crazy. So, Real Boom was him in Sword and Shield. In Sword and Shield, he was him. But that's why they nerfed him a little bit. They did not give him access to Grassy Glide. So, we're starting to see Real Boom still be pretty strong. I actually like the position where he, that he's in. He's not OP, and he's not terrible. So, I like Real Boom all around. I think he's just a great Pokemon. So, I'm really glad they did that nerf. But Grimstrong's gonna come out here alongside with Flutter Flutter. Flutter Flutter Flutter. Um, psh, 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 how should I play this one? I could just drop a nice little Thunder. I could go into Steel Typing, which I think is gonna be my play. Go straight Steel just so we can bulk a little bit. Drop a nice little Thunder in that slot and Rain Dance set up or Tanwin set up? Rain Dance set up or Tanwin set up? I want my Thunders landing. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna say that this thunder lands 100%. We, we're landing this thunder, so I'm gonna set up a tailwind, get a bit of speed control, and go into a steel type in here. So I think they set up a screen here. So I think we are fine. We'll see. So I'm gonna try slicing the straight steel. Steel's the play. Steel's always the play with flutter means. Gotta love it. So we're gonna steal terror here again. I'm taking a risk here. I'm saying my Thunder's landed, so I went for a Tailwind instead of Rain Dance. Typically, I would like to go for Rain Dance just to set up that 100% chance, but I'm a risk taker. Man. I'm definitely risking it. So I think that's going to be Flutter Man. He's gonna also going to be Terrasalizing. And now it's going to be Grimstrong. And that could have been crazy read if, uh, if I was going in that slide. I was thinking about it. The Fake Out comes out here. Give me a little biscuit. We don't like that. Something like that, and Tailwind's gonna get set up. So Thunder did not even matter to so Tailwind. I guess we'll take it. I'll set up the rain next turn. My boy can't move. Fluttermane's gonna go for a Thunderbolt. Can we soak that, please? Thank you. So now I can set up the rain. So I get that HP back from the uh, fake out, and I'm gonna get after it. I am going to set up this lovely little rain dance. So I'm gonna Thunder over on the Fluttermane and just go for a nice lovely rain dance. And he actually Terrasalized. I should taunt him. I'm gonna taunt Grimstone. I'm gonna say screw the rain. I'm gonna say screw the rain. I'd rather taunt this Grimstone. No screens, none of that. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. Cool, no light screen. Not allowed. The Thunder is still gonna land, which is awesome. How much damage are we doing? About half. Give me Paralyze. We get the Paralyze. Now give me the turn. Give me the Paralyze on the turn, too. We do not get it. So now Thunderbolt flies through here. We do not get off rain, but I still feel as we're, we're, we're fine. We taunt the Grimstrong, which is like, I can now bring out Urshifu. Um, if I land another Thunder, Fluttermane does die. But I could just go into... Hmm, who do I want to go into here? Do I want to go into the, the boy or the other boy? Both great picks. Great, great choices. Thing is, I'm relying on these moves to hit. I'm relying on these moves to hit. I'm going to say we land another Thunder. I'm going for it. I'm saying we're landing another Thunder and we're taking out this Fluttermane. I'm very risky right now. This is 70 accuracy. This is 70 as well. We need it to land. We need it to land. I'm going for it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to Surgeon Strikes the Scrim Snarl. Come on, Thunder. I need you here. If I need you one time, it is this time. I need you the most. Do not fail me. Because if I miss this Thunder, Urshfu dies. So withdraws Grimstone, oh, that's fine. We'll take a free Surgeon Strikes in that slot. And Rillaboom's gonna come out here. I need you. I need you more than ever here, Thunder. More than ever. Right here, right now. More than ever. Surgeon Strikes is gonna connect. Gonna deal a little bit of damage on the Rillaboom. But I need you more than ever, Thunder. The one time I need you. Do not fail me. Come on, Thunder. It's gonna fail me. I already have a weird feeling about it. I have an odd feeling about it. Right in the gut. Does not fail me, yo. 
Zapdos, I love you. I love you. He's going to miss the next one because I needed him there, but we'll take that. We'll take that. Love it. Love it. We don't need me. We don't need me. That's big time for us. So Grimstone is going to come back out here. It's going to be able to fake out one of my Pokemon. It's probably going to fake out my Urshifu. And at this point, I'm just going to detect Urshifu, and I'm just going to rip into a Hurricane in that slot. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. Because he's probably going to double down on Urshifu, right? He's probably thinking, like, hey, my Grimstone dies if I don't fake this out. So he's just like, okay, I'm going to fake it out and then go into a, uh, like, Woodham or something like that. But now I get off screens again. The taunt was a big play. I really did like the taunt over the rain. Because, again, I was feeling risky. So I detect the shot. This Hurricane's going to miss. Like I said, we use our one. We use our one. There's the fake out. I think the double down to Urshfu. So this could be a big time protect. I used my one, so we already know Zapdos is missing this. Yo, Zapdos is on today. His accuracy's on. We put him on one. Any ducks? No ducks. And stopping can't you get out here. That's fine. That is fine. <laughs> we get static. <laughs> Love me some Zapdos. Zapdos RNG's on right now. He's crushing it. He's crushing it. So we're going to be able to kill KO Grimstar on no problem here. Um, Tailwind's gone, but we still are pretty fast. So I'm just going to go for another Hurricane there. I'm just going to go for a Surgeon Strike. So even if he sets up the Reflect, we're going to be able to crit through it. And we're just going to be able to take out him later. So see you later, Grimstar. No chance of surviving this. And this team's OP too. You guys can definitely rock out with this team in Rank Ladder. If you guys are watching this, maybe the day I upload it or when Rank Ladder comes out, save this team. I'm telling you guys, this team could definitely get you to Master Tier, no problem. This team is very, very good. And it's very simple. Kind of just throw out Zapdos, Tornadus, set the rain if you want to. If not, it's totally fine. <laughs> and then and then kind of have Urshifu and somebody else in the back end. Pretty much the guaranteed three. But there's our miss. I was waiting for it. And they're paralyzed, so our miss... It's fine. It's totally fine. We're just dominating this match. Match number two is definitely going to go to us. It's no problem. We're going to get some uh, grassy terrain HP and leftover. So my boy's just fueling back up. He's just fueling back up. Is Robin their last Pokemon? I think they have one more, right? Yeah, it's going to be Mousehold. And <laughs> you already used your Terra. I'm just going to put the nice little close combat right into the mid. Try to land another Hurricane. And yeah. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. This is too easy. But that was a good match. Did I sweep? No, I lost Tornadus. He protects. Little does he know, Urshfu is smacking right through that Protect and taking you out. Hate to break it to him. This is why Urshfu is so OP. Your Protect means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. So Urshfu, top tier, finishes off that lovely little mouse hold. Get it on out my face. Get it on out of here. Zapdos, yeah, it's fine Zapdos. I understand that you're missing these ones. It's okay. I knew you were, I knew you were, I knew you were missing them. It's totally fine. Woodhammer's gonna finish this off, but I got a, I got a back end Pokemon for this to deal with the rest of this. And he actually dies by recoil. Cool. All day, baby. Like I said, come on, man. That's too easy. Two and zero. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record and bring out the brooms in match number three. Hopefully, you guys got the brooms ready. Maybe, maybe not. We're going up against a little bit of a Sun team. They got more movement protosynthesis. They also have. Urshifu and then the Rock and Hisuian type floors. So if I had to guess, Tornadus has Sunny Day. So it's a little bit of Sun versus Rain kind of kind of mojo here. But Zapdos, he's gonna get after it. Do we even use Zapdos? Actually, I don't even think we use Zapdos. I think we just go in with the Fun Button. And this is legit a great name for Reggie Draco. It has a Fun Button. You just press Dragon Small or not Dragon Small, Dragon Energy. That's the Fun Button with Tailwind, and it does a lot of damage. So. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> We're going to go on with Urshifu in the back end. And then my bad boy, Hisumi and Gujra, who I love. I did not get to use in the last match, but still, he was there. He helped out a little bit. Moral support, clapping in the background. But I want to bring out the brooms. And if I win this match, I need you guys to bring out the brooms with some brooms emoji in the comment section down below. And also, if you guys are a member, thank you guys so much. Huge shout out to all my members. You guys are the real ones. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying all your perks. If you guys want to become a member, there's a join button down below. And sometimes it doesn't pop up for some people including myself, even on my phone. I can't see it sometimes. So there's a link down in the description below to become a member if you guys are interested. Like I said, it's not mandatory, but it's greatly appreciated. Will Boom Urshifu come out here. It's time to hit the fun button. It's time to hit the fun button. Oh, you can fake me out. I don't like that. Me no likey. Me no likey, so. I'm just going to set up the Tailwind, and I'm going to protect this turn. I'm not 
I don't want to get hit by this fake out. So I'll set up the tailwind this turn. And we'll just protect my Reggie Draco. Oh, wait a minute. You can punch through me. And I, I don't like that. There's the fake out. And no way you faked out my, 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 my boy right here. And I don't have cover cloak. That's why I wish I had cover cloak. But Wicked Boy is going to fly here. I hate this. I can't even use the fun button. Can't even use the fun button. We're getting slaughtered out here. God dang, hits to protect. Redonkulous. So, I guess I'll tailwind here. Um, If I can get off a Dragon Pulse, I will. We'll try to hit up Urshfu. But yeah, fun button's out the picture. I blew it. I blew it. I really did think he was going to fake out the what's it called. I really did think he was going to fake out the Reggie Draco. I really thought that was happening. That's why I like the Cobra Cloak on Tornadus. It's just so good. The Sucker Punch is going to KO me. Tailwind's going to come out and about. We'll get some speed. And I still feel as we're in a position where we can win this game. And he's going to take off my mental herb. How dare you take off my mental herb? That ain't cool. That ain't right. So from here, we could go Urshfu of our own. Hmm. What's your terror type? What is I think it's straight water. What is your terror type? It is fighting. Ooh. I actually don't mind that. We're gonna get rid of Urshifu. Do I set up rain here? I could set up rain. Rain could be the player. Instead of Bleak Wind Storm, we have a chance to miss that. I'm gonna set up the rain. I'm gonna terrestrialize Urshfu and just close combat and finish off the Urshfu. That's my play. Because I wanted to originally close combat in Urshfu, which I'm doing, but then I was just like, wait a minute, if I don't take out Rillaboom with Bleak Wind Storm, he's just gonna take out my Urshfu. But having this fighting tower right here, pretty big. Should allow us to be able to eat up a shot, hopefully. Rain Dance can come out here, but our only problem is going to be the defensive drop. Always scary. It's always scary. The close combat finishing you off. I'm hoping this was the right call because I think he still can KO me with this uh, wood hammer, right? It's stab, it's neutral, my defense is down, and it's in the terrain to go with the grass boost. Might have been a bad call for us, but let's see what he goes into. Drum beating, can we eat this? Can you soak? Give me a favor, soak this one. Come on, man. Come on, man. You got a speed drop, but it's okay. We got tailwind. That's a big time soak up. That's a big time eat up. I'm trying to think, do I have any Pokemon first in priority? They do not. But Tornado's gonna come out here and do I detect here? I'm just gonna detect. Because they might set up a tailwind and then go after my Urshfu, so I'd rather get some bleak wind storm damage off and then kinda go from there. Like it. Come on, Urshfu. That's a big time place. Big time plays from the Urshi. From the from the teddy bear. I think I love the the terror like artwork. Like I love how they throw something on the head. It just looks so cool. I'm going to detect here because I do believe a Tailwind drum beating is coming into my my boy. And no Tailwind comes out here. That is very odd. That is very odd. Very odd. We do get a speed drop, which is big time for us. And they go for the Icy one. The lovely little Icy one. Luckily, we did get a speed drop onto the world. Icy wind, we're going to be able to soak. We are going to get a speed drop, but I don't think we're sitting in a terrible spot. We get the block. Cute. So we get the block. Who do I want dead? Because we know he has Tornadus. Um, I get to really pick who I want dead here. And who's my backup Pokemon? It is, it is the boy. A very bulky boy. I'm just going to go Bleak Windstorm. And I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Rillaboom. So many day comes out here. Oh no, that could have screwed me over. That can screw me over because my Bleak Windstorm's not hitting and my Surgeon Strike's doing 5 damage. I need Bleak Windstorm to land. And see, I said he had Sunny Day in the beginning, but kind of forgot about it. So we need this Bleak Windstorm to land. I highly doubt it's going to land in the sun, but I like my RNG as of recently. And it does land, yo. We'll take it all day. <laughs> we'll take it all day. So Aqua Jet can finish off Tornadus, and we pretty much have this match wrapped up. Wrapped up right away. Wow, I like to play from our opponent. That's what I would have done. Set that sun, get rid of all that rain. But I just was not expecting that bleak when storm to land. Maybe on one of them. I was hoping it would just hit the Wilbin, but Typhlosion now comes out here. This is where we have a little bit of an issue, right? Actually, I can Aqua Jet do some damage. And I can set the rain again. So I'm going to set the rain here. I'm going to Aqua Jet do some damage on him. And this might actually KO him. 
So we'll see. We sent rain. It would be a smart play to maybe make a read on my rain dance. And have them go for a sunny day. This thing goes for fire. That would be like its its best option, right? But that'd be a heck of a read right there. Let's see how this one plays out here. And now he sets up the tail went cool. So now we change up the weather, we go rain. Aqua Jet can potentially just KO this thing. Oh the sun didn't come out here first, or the uh the rain. That would have definitely KO'd. Would have definitely KO'd, because he's still gonna maybe pick up a double kill here. My Pokemon are late. Late on HP. Eruption's gonna fly. You guys soak? Any you guys? No. Ooh. Ooh. And now he's gonna sunny day. Hmm. That kinda hurts. Kinda hurts. This match coming down to it, but I got the Sligo. Not Sligo, the Gudra. The Suing Gudra. I don't know why I'm calling him Sligo. Hmm. Muddy Water's our best friend, but you know the sun's gonna come out here and neutralize a lot of the damage. So we might just wanna focus in on, on one Pokemon here. So we're gonna try to get rid of the Typhlosion. Thunder's not the call. Again, he's setting sun, so Muddy Water, Thunder's not the call. Flash Cannon's really not gonna do anything. We gotta Draco Meteor this thing now. I'm just terrified. Can you eat this up, Sligo? So why don't you go on a Sligo? Gudra, can you eat up the Seed Eruption? He's choice into that. Eat this up, my man. He's half health. Oh, yeah, dude, this thing's bulked. 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 Dropping our special attack, it's totally fine. We just need to land a Flash Cannon into into this Tornadus. And there it is, yo, the bulky Gudra flushing up for us. Assault Vest, great special defense. He's him. Gudra's him. The Flash Cannon's gonna fly here. That's gonna be game, set, match. Jeans is taking this one, no problem. Battle's canceled. Bring out the brooms. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, I got you guys. Bring out the brooms, another 3-0 sweep. This team right here, absolutely crazy strong. You guys can definitely use it in the rank ladder or just mess around with it on casual. It is top tier, and it can definitely push you guys some high ranks. We use every single Pokemon on this team, and they all thrive in their, in their position whenever I use them. So, again, Zapdos OP. Very, very strong bird, especially with rain teams. You guys are going to be seeing a lot, so be prepared for it. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If not subscribed to the channel, click that bigger subscribe button so you know when all of my regulation D content goes live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.